This is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today we're going to be doing just a little bit of an experiment. Uh, it's going to be going down now is Glitten Essentials, excuse me, Glitten Premium in black. When I purchased this, I felt it was too thin, and so it kind of went back on my shelf. Uh, I recently thought, well, let's try adding a little bit of jug gloss, and voila, it was thick enough for me to work with. I'm going to spread that out a little bit. And my first color down is TLP Rave. TLP Rave is a fluorescent uh, blue. And it's mixed, all my paints are mixed three to one with uh, Vaspar Ultra and uh, Varathane, Polyurethane Triple Thick. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you're gonna see that this, this duplicates almost uh, one for one all across the board when I do this. The rave is going down. At this point, I'm just still trying to figure out how am I gonna stack these colors and how do I want them to appear once I swipe. I already knew that I was gonna put them right on top of each other. Next is Indigo, and this is Artelier Interactive. I'm gonna experiment only because I've never tried this exact style before. Next is Carolina Blue. This is a, a Porage Port uh, Posse paint, and I will leave the information down in the description of where you can pick that up. It's a wonderful paint. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, uh, and it just really stands up nicely. Next one is Sequins. This is a TLP color. It's an interference color. and it interference violet blue. I love these color shifts, especially on dark colors. They just, they, they, they shine. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, iridescent gold as my cell activator. The cell activator is mixed with uh, three parts Australian floor crawl to one part paint. I found that for me, the best uh, cell activators paints to use are Amsterdam products. Not across the board, but generally the moral paint colors work best. There's something about the quality of the paints with the, the Amsterdam line. It's not that other paints can't work, they will. You kind of have to experiment on your own to figure out which ones you like best and how they react. Okay, our next color is Techno, and again, this is another fluorescent color, a very bright yellow, goobered all over the place there, there's no problem, I can get that up. Okay, going to go back over to the other side. And put that swap down. Notice I'm not putting a lot of color down. This is mostly, I mean, very little. This is Harvest Gold. It's a TLP color, uh, very shiny, it's a dark gold. This is Iridescent Gold Fine by Amsterdam. And this is Gold Nugget and it's Fire Dots, and it's a new color for me. It's actually mis mixed with two other colors, uh, but Fire, the, the Gold Nugget is the primary color there, and it's extremely shiny. Okay, I'm using Lamp Black Amsterdam as my cell activator. Again, this makes three parts Australian flow draw to one part paint. And this thing, when I talk about ratios, these are guidelines. Different paints act differently when you add, uh, when you mix them. So you kind of have to eyeball it and it's, it's about the consistency.
back and you see on the one side over there it's almost like everything disappeared but it's really there it's not showing up here in the, 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 the video okay this is inferno inferno is another tlp color it uh, although it's not fluorescent it's extremely bright our next color is hot cinnamon this is a color art pigment um closest i can tell you it looks exactly like candy apples to me and it has so much so much uh, shine to it this is maraschino and this is a tlp color last we're going to put sequins at the bottom Flip it around, do the same thing. The one good thing about when you get a drip in there, you can easily just put your finger in it, it'll adhere to your glove or your finger. You're going to repeat the process there. I really wasn't looking for a sine wave in this, but about this time I realized well, it's exactly what I got. So at that point I decided, well, let's accentuate that just a little bit. The titanium white is my cell activator. That little bloop down at the bottom turns out to be actually one of the more interesting parts because it picked up all the paints. And second sweep. Okay, I'm looking and I'm going, hmm, I've got all that negative space on both sides of my uh, what turns out to be my sine wave. And kind of trying to make up my mind what I want to do, if I want to fill that space or what. I think what I've decided to do is I'm going to line this up again. This is Rose Quartz. This is a TLP interference color. It is a gold pink shift. And I'm going to do the same, uh, the same layering uh, on each each one of these. And so one of the things I thought is I can go if I this is Twinkle. There's a little bit of a blue to it. I. Uh, I thought what I would do with this is it would uh, maybe fill out the space. That's what the thought was. Like I said, this is new to me, so I'm kind of experimenting, see what works for me. A little goober there. Sequins, it's another, uh, that's another um, interference color. It has a color shift and depending on which light hits it. And I'm going to do that with every single one of them, same, uh, the same pigment order. <clears throat> okay, these last two, then I'll swipe them out.
Normally I would go through and, and edit this so it may either make it faster or, you know, cut out any dead space in between. Um, thought I'd share today just the, the process itself, how long it takes for things to actually happen. Okay, lamp black is my cell activator. And you can't see the black, what happens down at the bottom there, but there is, in the black, there's still a cell. And uh, actually kind of interesting. So I put a little bit more, a little bit more pressure down to see if I could drag some more of that color with me. Gonna flip it around here in just a second and repeat the process on the other side. I think I've really decided that I am intrigued by this, this process. And I think I'd like to do some more of it, maybe uh, maybe with more of a continuous line across, but we'll see. I do like the, I do like the idea, and this is kind of a practice run for a larger piece that I'm doing. Much larger piece of the moon. And there's the last one. I'm, now I'm looking at it and I'm going, hmm. Is it really <clears throat> filling up the space like I'd like it to? So I decided I think we need another couple more lines on this, couple more swipe lines. And the red are all in the middle, so I thought, well, let's do the same thing on the outside. Some more Inferno. Hot cinnamon, it's a wonderful color. Will take over, however. Maraschino. It's a beautiful color. I think I can use it better and find another palette that it will work with better than it did here. Kind of got lost. And I believe that sequence is up down at the bottom. It's titanium white as my uh, cell activator. We repeat that same process on the other side. Inferno. I 
add cinnamon. Maraschino. And so this time with black, the lamp black on the bot on the, the bottom and with the white tattooing white underneath that. And combining those two uh, cell activator creates different uh, effects. The the black will sink and the white will grab onto it. It almost gives it a shadow uh, around the around the, the cell. Same thing happened over on the other side with the white. And the white was on, on the bottom and the, the, the black was above that. So the opposite effect. Not as effective as with the black on top of the white. Okay. Uh, a little bit of color, different color combination. We're going with the techno first. Harvest gold. Iridescent gold fine. Okay, repeating the process here. And what you've been seeing me swipe with uh, is a swiping tool that I picked up with uh, fluidart.com. And um, it's, it's got a, a sharp edge to it so that when I, when I pull and I swipe, I get a nice clean, get a nice clean swipe with it. You can do the same thing with a piece of uh, plastic with a fine edge to it. I uh, just find that it's easier for me to clean up the swiping tool afterwards. But that will indeed be one of the things I experiment with when next time I do this is with uh, with larger pieces of plastic. Okay, this time I have the black on the bottom. This is like a bumblebee. Okay, now if you notice, there is a distinct sine wave there. That was not my intent. That's what ended up happening. Um, and I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy with that. It's about time that I start spinning this out. Trying to make my last minute decisions. And I did decide to redo that little section there. And the main reason is that it um, really did just, as it sat there, it disappeared. Um, just 
nothing's ever lost. It's just a matter of redoing a little bit of it. If you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask, I invite you to leave them down in the comments below. I do love hearing from you all, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. It's about time for me to start spinning this out. Uh, I started with uh, the minimum what I needed on the, on the canvas to start with the, with the base coat but I still need to get some alpha, otherwise it's gonna have some problems drying. And yeah, I, you have to be real careful of spinning because it uh, things will change very quickly. You're gonna notice over on my one side over here, I'm gonna start losing some of that uh, that swipe. But that's okay. It ran down the side and actually it's quite beautiful. Um, but the um, reason for spinning is you really, if you don't get enough paint off, you're gonna get crazy. And I did get a little bit of crazing on this. It had quite a bit of paint still left on it. Uh, and you'll see that in the, the dried results here in just a few minutes. But that's all I'm doing right now is I'm not trying to change anything. I'm just trying to get, get some of the paint off the canvas. So that it dries properly. A little bit of movement there, not horrible. More than I'd like to see, however. I moved the canvas all the way out to the end of my, my ability to, to spin. And I'm going to give it another spin and hopefully take some of that paint on that side off. We'll see. And with that, I think I'm pretty darn close. I'm actually very, very happy with this piece and I look forward to experimenting more with it. Here's the flyover. You can see the cells. You can see the interplay of all the colors together. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. There's some refinement I want to do for the next time I try it, but Definitely, I think it's a step in a, in a direction I want to go. Really just the black, the, the uh, interference colors on black is, is pretty astounding. If you liked what you saw today, please drop it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really does help. And ring that bell for notifications of videos that I'll put out. It's my goal to put out two per week, and I hope that you've enjoyed yourself. Drive results here. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Bye now.